Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today we have a medium plus gripple, we have a T gripple. Are they worth it? Some people seem to think that these are called slipple gripples. Hmm. We are going to go ahead and tie this 12 and a half gauge high tensile wire off and then we're going to go back and break it and compare it with a high tensile knot and we're going to compare it with a crimp sleeve. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and put our pretend splice in here using this medium gripple. So it has arrows of which way it wants you to put the wire in. One's going to go that way and one is going to go this way. Yes, we are using the correct gripple. For the wire, this gripple is rated for 14 to 10 standard wire gauge. It is rated for holding 880 pounds. You gotta make sure that you're using the correct wire with the correct gripple size, because if you're not, you will have slip a gripple. Now to tighten it, since it's all nice and loosey-goosey, we're gonna go ahead and use the gripple contractor tool. We're going to put the gripple on this end, and as we pull the handle down, the spring is going to release the jaw, causing it to grab the wire. Now we're going to go back for another bite. And that's all I had to do to tighten those two wires together. Now on this one, we are going to go ahead and leave our tails loose. We're not going to tie them back because we want to prove that the gripple's not going to slip. So now we're going to use the T-gripple. All you do is slide it on there, wrap it around your post. Just like that. You pull that wire tight. Now you still got to stretch it, but as you can see, we've already pulled quite a bit of that slack already out of there. We're not stretching it because we're going to put a stretcher on the other end and we're going to break all three of these and do a comparison to see what fails and if the gripple fails. We have the one with the gripple, we have just a piece of high tensile wire. Next, we have a high tensile crimp. So we have a crimp in the middle of the wire. These are the 2.50 millimeter crimp sleeves. It's got a water resistant grit adhesive inside of them. You gotta have that grit to make the high tensile wire bite. Without that grit, that wire is just gonna pull apart. You just can't use ordinary crimps. Yeah, that's a real struggle. Make sure and use the right stuff. And right here, we have a T-gripple. All right, let's get ready to test. Okay. What we're gonna do here is we have a crane scale, we have it all set up, and so it's gonna retain the high reading. So once it breaks, we're gonna be able to keep that reading. We're gonna put tension on the gripple, on the medium gripple plus. We're gonna tighten that one and see what happens. See where it breaks at. So right there is 450. Oh, that didn't work. 768, and the wire snapped. Not the gripple, the gripple did not break. It broke after the gripple, but not right after the gripple. So based on what we get, the breaking point of the bare wire is gonna determine whether or not we need to retest the one with the gripple on it because it only went up to 768 pounds. Okay, experiment number two. This one's just a, a blank wire. 12 and a half gauge high tensile. We're gonna see what this one breaks at. There's nothing in this wire, just a high tensile knot, and that's it. I'll put one click on it, and then we'll put the pipe on. So right there, we're at 634 pounds. We were at 50. Nine hundred and fifty-seven. One thousand fifty-five. It was right behind the, right behind the chain walker. Yep, right behind. So I think we might have to redo that one with a gripple on it. But that's that's at least test four. Okay, so this one that we're getting ready to gear up for is the crimp sleeve. So here we go, we got 116 on it. We're gonna put one click on it and then put the pipe, put the pipe on. We're sitting right at 448. 865. Again, right behind the, right behind the chain walker. 
1017. All right, now we're gonna test the T-gripple. So right now we're sitting at 402 pounds. 881. 1018. Let's go look and see where it failed. It was not the T-gripple. Right behind the chain walker again. T-gripple? Two thumbs up. If you don't want to tie a high tensile knot. Or if you're like me and just don't have the artistry in your blood to do so. Okay, we're doing the medium plus gripple one more time. The first one, the wire failed. And that's not because the gripple's fault, it's because the wire's fault. I don't know why, I don't get it either. So we're gonna, we're all geared up. One more shot for the medium plus gripple. Let's see where it breaks at. Okay, right there, we're at 97. 338. 692. So again, this time it was right before the gripple. Just a piece of, oh wait, no, no, hold on. It broke in the gripple. See there's there half the wire. So it did break in the gripple on the stretching side of it. Now what did it break at? It broke at 8.42. All right, so it broke right where it's rated at, like just a couple pounds different. So it's a little bit under where everything else broke at. Let's be realistic. It didn't fail less than what they say it should fail at. It didn't slip. The gripple did not slip. There's no slippage of the gripple whatsoever. It broke. The wire broke right at the gripple. When you stretch wire, you go as tight as you possibly can. I have a cheater on here just to be able to break the wire. You're not trying to contain man-eating lizards. If we were, we'd be using a lot bigger cable. We're gonna throw one more thing at you. We're gonna stretch one more time with a medium plus gripple in the middle of the run. And we're gonna actually tighten this to a working load limit of what I could get it to. A satisfactory tension, just to see what the actual crane scale is gonna read out at. So even right there, I could go for one more, one more click. But I know I'm gonna strain myself really hard just to get it. So I had to pull pretty hard just to get it and I'm only at 685. I would not pull any more than that because there's no reason for me to pull any more. Oh, huh. interesting. Hmm. We just pushed the gripple back and there was absolutely no slippage of the gripple. What happens is you're pulling so hard on the wire, as to be expected because it has these little gears and wheels in there, that they actually dig into the wire and grab really hard and that's what causes the wire to fail. So the gripple doesn't fail, but the gripple causes the wire to just, just break in half right there. So I bought this mic so that, that way I could do a mic drop on you guys, but apparently, you guys did a mic drop on me. I have a theory here, hear me out, because this isn't just willy nilly. On a single strand high tensile 12 and a half gauge, if you're gonna run that for a tension wire, yes. I think I have reached a conclusion that I would go to a high tensile crimp or to a high tensile knot. And that is because of the impact. Like we just saw, I just barely stepped on it. I took some force, but you know, if somebody was trying to climb over that fence, I'm wondering if that one wire would fail. Now, on a woven wire standpoint, gripple all the way, all the way, 100% hands down. And that is because you have various amounts of wires and not just one, so you're spreading that tension out across all of them. You're not getting anywhere near that 800 pound load limit. But hands down to gripple because it did fail where they said it was gonna fail at. There was no slippage of the slipple gripple. The gripple was a gripple gripple and there was no slipple gripple of the gripple slipple. I hope we're clear on that. Still a great product. But on one single strand as a tension wire, I'm thinking I would go back to a high, a high tensile crimp. 
Now, if you're one of those guys that thinks you need to double wrap a termination knot, make sure and watch this video right here. If you're wondering what this is, what this is, where you can pick one up, and what it's called, make sure and watch this video right here. Dan with SWI. We are Wyoming's fence company. What a doozy of a video. And we hope you have a good dang day.